Hey chatters, I'm going to continue down the Excaladraw road today and we're going to be talking about mermaid.js, JS stands for JavaScript. This is a language that lets you visualize certain things. You can create like mind maps and diagrams and stuff like that. And it's something I hadn't known or heard about. I started using ChatGPT. And even though I have no idea how to write mermaid.js, ChatGPT does. So I want to show you what this looks like and how you can incorporate it into your workflow, as well as how you can use this in Excalibur to quickly create things that you can then mess around with. Let's start off simply. We're talking to ChatGPT here. I have the professor up and we're just going to say, I want a diagram going through the steps of making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich uh, output in mermaid.js. That's all you got to say. You know, you don't have to be super specific or crazy. Super Synapse is thinking about it right now. Let, let's see what it's too late and I missed my chance. <laughs> so it's going to output this diagram. Now you can get, if you look at this, you can see where, okay, A leads to B leads to C leads to D, blah, 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 blah. I wouldn't know how to write this. I don't know what the syntax is, but it doesn't really matter. So we're going to copy this. And first we're going to head over to mermaid.live. This is just a way for you to input the code and see what it looks like. Uh, so we can see here, they have some sample ones, <laughs> Christmas, get money, go shopping. You can do sequences, classes, user journeys, a pipe. You can do pretty much anything, which is super cool. So if we go to the code here and we just paste this in, you'll see here, now here's our diagram for making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But this isn't super sexy. There's definitely a way to download it. Oh yeah, over here, we can download it if you want, but there's got to be a better way to look at this information and use it. And of course there is, which is Excaladra and Obsidian. So let's head over to there. I'm going to show you how to use it in there and how we can play around with it. Here we are in my vault. We have Excaladra open in a new diagram. And we have this AI button up here. So we're just going to click on that. And you can see that we have this mermaid to Excaladra that we can open up. And here too, you can see they have the same thing as mermaid.live, the same exact kind of uh, fun sample diagram. But we can come in here and we can just control V and you'll see here it has now created our diagram over here and we can just click insert and now you can play around with it because we're in Excalibur. So I can, for example, click on this. I can change the color. I can click on this. I can change the sloppiness I can click on this. I can make the font larger. I don't know, whatever you want to do, right? Our stroke, we can make the colors different. You can move stuff around. You can add things. Again, this is classic AI. You can get 80% of the way there without having to do much work. And then you can put your own flair on it. Alternatively, if you're willing to throw in your API key, which if you come into, I did this in the previous video, but I'll just show you. If we come into Excalibur and AI settings, you'll see we can put our API key in here. And you might want to change the model. Uh, it's probably going to be 3.5, which is honestly probably fine. But if you want to update it to the latest model, just Google open AI models and find this wording or whatever and stick it in. But we can come to this AI setting and we can do text to diagram. So I can say, I want to represent the instructions for making a PB and J sandwich. So we'll generate, it's going to take a second and here you go. It's created our nice little, <laughs> enjoy the sandwich. And then we can just come over here to mermaid and you can actually see what it came up with. So you can go back and forth. You could, for example, put this into ChatGPT and be like, no, I actually want you to add this and this, or you can obviously be a little bit more specific in here in terms of what you want it to create. So you can just hit insert once you're done and it will. <laughs> It's a mix a mess because I have two going at the same time. And there you go. It's exactly the same. <laughs> it is exactly the same. Let me try that again. I think that's because, yeah, so it changed this time. Let's insert it. We have a few different ways. Do you have all the ingredients? Yes or no? Get the ingredients. 
Yeah, so that's Mermaid. And so you can make all kinds of different things, like I said, and mess around with it. I love doing this when I have a complex conversation or I'm working on something. And I can just say at the end of that conversation, output to Mermaid, and then I can stick it in here and have a nice little visual. So that's it for Mermaid.js and Excaladraw. The last thing I will mention is that ChatGPT is not perfect or whatever you're using is not perfect. So you might put it in, you might get an error and that's totally fine. All you got to do is have that back and forth with ChatGPT to be like, hey, I got this error. Can you update this? And it will try another version. You can just go back and forth until you get the actual diagram that you want or most of the way there so you can mess around with it here in Excalibur and Obsidian. So that's it for this video. Appreciate you as always, Chatters, and I will see you in the next one.